Welcome back to my channel Math School. In this channel, I teach class 10 insert math. In today's video, let us solve question number 12 from exercise 4.2, chapter 4 circles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorem 4.1, 4.2, and exercise 4.1 as well. If you have not watched that video, you can find the link in the description box below. Also, I have completed all the other important chapter videos such as arithmetic progression, triangles, pair of linear equation, quadratic equation, coordinate geometry, introduction to trigonometry, some applications of trigonometry, real numbers, and chapter circles. Again, link for all this is provided in the description box below. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell button so that you will be notified with all the upcoming videos on my channel. So now quickly let us begin with the video. Question number 12 from exercise 4.2 chapter 4 circle says a triangle ABC is drawn to circumscribe a circle of radius 4 cm such that the segments BD and DC into which BC is divided by the point of contact D are of length 8 cm and 6 cm respectively as shown in the figure. Find the sides AB and AC. They have given us a figure where there is a triangle ABC is drawn such that it circumscribes a circle of radius 4 cm. So OD is the radius which they have given as 4 cm. So this radius divides the side of this triangle BC into two parts that is BD and DC because at point D this is the point of contact between the triangle and the circle so therefore this point D divides the side BC into two parts which is of length 8 cm they are given as BD first and DC so BD is 8 cm and DC will be 6 cm respectively so we have to find out the length of the sides AB and AC. So this question is little bit lengthy but solving this question is quite easy if you understand step by step. So here you can see that at point D there is a point of contact on the side BC. Similarly on side AB there is point of contact E between the triangle and the circle. Similarly point of contact is F on the side AC between the triangle and the circle. Right, so similarly we can join OF and OE which again will be 4, four centimeters. Again here to this circle there are three external points that is point A, B and C. Again there are two tangents from this external point that is FC is one tangent and DC is another tangent. So any tangent from external point to a circle will always be equal in length. So this side CD will be equal to FC. So again this will be 6 cm. Similarly we have an external point P which has two tangents BD and EB whose length will be equal again. So BD is given here as 8 cm. So EB will also be 8 cm. Right? But here for this external point A there are two tangents AF and AE whose length is unknown. So we will take the length of AF as x centimeters and AE will also be same which will be x centimeters. Now here we have to find out the length of AB and AC. So we have to find out the x value here to find out these two lengths. To find out the length of AB, AE and AF there are two methods that we have to apply here. We have to first apply the Heron's formula and second we will apply area of a triangle formula and we will be dividing this whole triangle into three parts so that we can find out the value of x easily. So let us first write down what is given in the question and then I will explain you step by step how we have to solve. So write down given a circle with center O with radius equal to 4 centimeters that is equal to the length OD and also we can write triangle ABC circumscribes the circle with BD is equal to 8 centimeters and CD equal to 6 centimeters. So now we will write the solution. So again we can write from theorem 4.2 the length of tangents drawn from an external point R equal so we will write CD equal to CF equal to 6 centimeters and BD equal to BE equal to 8 centimeters. Theorem 4.2. Please write down the whole statement here so that you will get full marks. CD equal to CF equal to 6 centimeters and BD 
equal to BE equal to 8 centimeters. So now let us consider the three sides of the triangle. The first side is given by BC. So BC is equal to CD plus DB that is 6 plus 8 centimeters which will be equal to 14 centimeters. This is already given in the question. Now let us find out the side AB and AC similarly. So AB side is equal to AE plus EB. So this will be AE value is x plus eb value is 8 centimeters similarly let us find out ac ac is af plus fc which is equal to x plus 6 centimeters okay so we have found out all the three sides of the triangle now we will find out area of the triangle by using two methods first we will find out by using heron's formula and then we will use the normal formula that is half into base into height okay so now let us use the heron's formula area of triangle abc by heron's formula so according to this formula s is given as a plus b plus c divided by 2 and area of a triangle is given by square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c okay so you have to remember this formula here a b c are the three sides of the triangle so we will take the first side a b as a b c b c side as b and we will take a c side as c okay and we will substitute here in the formula so s is equal to what is the value of a we have found out it is x plus 8 plus b is 14 plus c is x plus 6 divided by 2. So here since plus sign is there we can add all the terms. So this will be x plus x is 2x plus 14 plus 6 is 20, 20 plus 8 is 28 divided by 2. So here when we take two outside common we can cancel with the denominator so 2 taking out common x plus 2 1 times 2 4 are 8 so divided by 2 so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled therefore s value will be equal to x plus 14 okay so this s value we are going to substitute in the area formula so therefore area of triangle abc is equal to square root of s what is s s is nothing but x plus 15 14 into again we have s minus a s is x plus 14 minus a what is a value it is x plus 8 then into again we have s which is x plus 14 minus b which is 14 into again s which is x plus 14 minus c c is x plus 6 so minus x plus 6. So carefully open the brackets so that you will not miss out any sign term. So here first we have x plus 14. So opening the bracket here x plus 14 minus x minus 8 minus x minus 8. Okay again opening the second bracket we have x plus 14 minus 14. So minus 14 opening the third bracket. So this is x plus 14 x plus 14 multiply with minus minus x minus 6 so here you can see that we have plus x and minus x which will get cancelled again we have plus 14 and minus 14 will get cancelled then plus x and minus x will get cancelled again so we will be left with x plus 14 into 14 minus 8 is how much it is 6 okay 6 into x into 14 minus 6 is again 8 so this will be x plus 14 into 6 8 into x is 6 48 x so multiplying with the brackets we will get square root of 48 into x is 48 x square plus 48 into 14 will be how much you can calculate that and find out that will be around 672 x 6 72x so this is what we have found out as the area of triangle abc okay so area 
of triangle ABC is equal to square root of 48x square plus 672x. This we have found out by one method. So you can take this as equation number one. Now by using second method we will form another equation and then we will equate these two equations. Now using the second method how do we find out the area. So here we should divide this whole triangle ABC into, into three triangles. Okay, so how can we do that? Extend this OD to meet this vertex A. Similarly, extend this OF to meet the vertex B and extend this line OE to meet the vertex C so that three triangles will be formed that is triangle AOC, BOC and BOA and AOB. So if you consider this triangle AOC, OF is perpendicular to the side AC right therefore OF also forms the perpendicular height to this triangle similarly OD will form the perpendicular height to the base BC and OE will form the height to in this triangle AOB so therefore we can apply half into base into height formula in these three triangles and we will find out the area the area of this whole triangle ABC is can be found out by adding the area of the three triangles which are formed that is triangle AOC plus triangle BOC and tri plus triangle AOB. Therefore you can write area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle AOC plus area of triangle BOC plus area of triangle AOB. Okay, by finding the area of all these three triangles, we can find out the area of the whole triangle ABC. Now, in this circle, radius is 4 cm, that is OD. Similarly, OF will also be 4 cm and OE will also be 4 cm. Okay, now let us apply the area of a triangle formula. We all know that area of triangle is given by half into base into height. Let us solve the further problem here where we are finding out area of triangle AOB. So here first we will find out area of triangle AOC. Area of triangle AOC base is AC which is given as x plus 6 centimeters half into base is x plus 6 into height is 4 right plus similarly area of triangle BOC again here half into base is 6 plus 8 into height will be 4 plus area of triangle AOB now. So again that will be half into x plus 8 which is the base and height is 4 centimeters. Okay. So here you can see here 2 and 2 4 will get cancelled. 2 1s are 2 2s are similarly 2 1 times 2 2 times 2 1 times 2 2 times. So here x plus 6 into 2 we have. So Multiplying 2 here, we get 2x plus 6 into 2 is 12. Similarly, plus here 2 is left. So, 6 twos are 12 plus 8 twos are 16. Plus, again, 2 into x will be 2x plus 8 2 into 2 is 16. So, adding all this 2x plus 2x will be 4x plus 12 plus 12 is 24. And 6 plus 6 is 32. So 32 plus 24 will be 56 centimeter square. Okay, so this is the area of the triangle. So this we will take it as equation number 2. Now we will equate our first and second equation. So here we will equate our first equation which we where we found out area of triangle ABC with this second equation. So now you can write down from equations 1 and 2. From first equation what we got it was square root of 48 x square plus 672 x equal to equation 2 is 4 x plus 56. Now to remove the square root term we can square on both the sides so write down squaring on both the sides. Squaring the square and square root term will get cancelled and we will be left with 48 x square plus 672x the square and square root will get cancelled and here squaring we will get what is 4 square it is 60 4 into 4 is 16 x square 
plus so 4x plus 56 the whole square this can be obtained by using the formula a plus b the whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square okay so 4x square will be 16x square plus 2ab will be 4x into 2 into 56 that will be equal to 448x plus 56 the whole square is 31 36 okay you can multiply and find out the result now let us bring all this term to the left hand side so we will get 48x square plus 672x this plus 16x square will become minus 16x square when it comes to left hand side plus 448 will become minus 448x minus 3136 is equal to 0. So here we have 48x square and minus 16x square where we can subtract. So that will become 48 minus 16 is 32x square. Similarly we have 672x and minus 448x. Again we will subtract to obtain plus 224x and minus 3136 equal to 0. So here we can take out 32 common from this equation so that this equation will be simplified and it will be easier for us to find out the factors so that we can find out the value of x. So by taking 32 outside common here we have x square plus so divide this 224 by 32 so 3 1 times 3 6 times 2 1 times 2 1 times so 2 times 2 8s are 16 2 5s are 10 2 6s are 12 2 4s are 8 2 2s are 4 2 8s are 16 again 4 1s are 4 4 7s are 28 so here we get 7x minus again you can divide this 3 1 3 6 2 by 32 so 2 1 times 2 6 times 2 1 times 2 5 times 2 6 times to 8 times to 8s are 16 again to 7s are 14 to 8s are 16 to 4s are 8 then to 4s are again cancelling you get to 3s are 6 to 9s are 18 to 2s are 4 then to 2 times to 1 times to 9s are 18 to 6s are 12 again to 1 times to 9s are 18 2 6 are 12 so you get minus sorry 2 8s are 16 so you get minus 98 equal to 0 so bringing this 32 to right hand side will become 0 so we will get equation as x square plus 7x minus minus 98 equal to 0 right so we will find out the factors a b c first the coefficient of x square is a which is 1 coefficient of b is 7 and coefficient of c is equal to 98 where we will not take the signs here just take the numbers now the product is equal to a into c so here a is 1 and c is 98 so our product should be 98 and since we have the value of c is minus we will take the difference if it was plus we would have taken sum so here we will take the difference should be equal to b that is nothing but 7 so we have to factorize we have to find out the factors of 98 whose product should be 98 and the difference should be 7 so this method i've already explained in quadratic equations right so 98 factorizing 2 4s are 8 2 9s are 18 here 49 is a square number so 7 7s are 49 and 7 1s are okay so factors will be 7 2s are 14 into 7 so 14 into 7 is equal to 98 and what is 14 minus 7 if you do 14 minus 7 will be equal to 7 so we will get the difference here as 7 and product as 98 so these two are the factors so we will take down here so x square plus instead of 7 we will write 14 minus 7 okay 14 minus 7 minus 98 equal to 0. So opening the bracket you get x square plus 14 into x is 14x. Then plus into minus will be minus 7x minus 98 equal to 
0. Now let us take common. If you take x common here between these two terms, x will be left here plus 14. Now here we have a minus sign. So we will take out minus sign minus 7 we will take out common. Okay, So x will be left here. Minus into minus will become plus. So this is 98 is how much? 14 into 7 is 98. So when we take, a, take out 7 common, 14 will be left behind equal to 0. So these two brackets are same. Then the method which we are following is correct. So taking out x plus 14 common outside what will be left behind x minus 7 equal to 0. So equating each of this bracket to 0 we will get x plus 14 equal to 0 and x minus 7 equal to 0. Therefore x will be equal to minus 14 and here x will be equal to 7. So here what is x? x is nothing but other one of the sides of a triangle which is a measuring quantity and this cannot be negative. So therefore we will consider the positive value which is x is equal to 7. So you can write down since x cannot be negative, since x cannot be negative, therefore we are taking x value as equal to 7. Now we have to find out the AC and AB value. So what is AC? AC value was given as x plus 6 so here x value is 7 so 7 plus 6 will be equal to 13 centimeter similarly we will find out a b value so a b value is equal to x plus 8 x plus 8 so what is x value it is 7 plus 8 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 centimeter so a b value is equal to 15 centimeter and a c value is equal to 13 centimeters we have found out so this is the way you have to solve this question it, it is a lengthy question but if you follow the method step by step I'm sure you can solve this question easily. So this question will most probably ask for 5 marks. So try to solve this question again and again and practice the problem. If you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. Also watch the related videos of chapter circles shown on the screen. And if you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more such videos for you guys. Thank you.